I look like Ben Shapiro. What? Who's Ben Shapiro? Wait a minute. Is Silo Simon here? Okay, I'm, I'm being patient because I'm I'm trying to find a side by side comparison between me and Ben Shapiro, or at least Pumpkin me. Do we look similar? Kind of, <laughs> right? Like the same eyes and face. Huh. Or no. I mean, at least we have like facial features, like a mouth and a nose and eyes and brows. But he's missing a stem. Anyway, uh, opponent's not here. Let's abort and let's play a new game. Playing Alex Pierce. Oh, it's Axor Typo saying Ben Shapiro is dark. Oh, like dark mode? Oh, good luck to my opponent. Have fun. Thanks for uh, the content, ooh. Eric. I love everything you do. Oh, I love you too. Thanks so much. Shark Oracle. Ooh, let's play um, the Gotham chess, e6, b6. I still haven't bought his course, but I know he preaches this. And there's a benefit to, ooh, bishop f4. I was going to say, there's a benefit to delaying knight f6, is that I can play f5 and then knight f6 and just control e4. Not sure where my bishop developed the bishop like this. Probably go for some some sort of simple harmonious development. Oh, Silo Simon was not at the computer. That's okay. I made good use of my time waiting. I made very good use of my time. Okay, so I gave up the bishop hair. But now I have knights. And the idea, the idea is very simple, to play knight e4, g5, g4, bring the queen in, and eventually mate somehow. I'll start with this. Yeah, this is very bird-like. Or polar bear-like. Yeah, it's basically a reverse bird slash polar bear. Reminiscent on, of uh, f4 on move 1. It's also kind of reminiscent of a Grand Prix attack. Just with uh, the Pawn Storm combined with the Queen Maneuver. So I can't play Queen H5, unfortunately. Oh, this is Rated Blitz. Maybe I should take this seriously. Could take. Queen g6 first, just prepare g4, f3 might come, and then I'll decide whether to retreat or capture. Could take with pawn. Actually, not sure. I think I'll take with pawn. The bishop's blocked, but the pawn is nice controlling some squares, gives me some space, open the f-file as well. So I'm going for probably some like, eventual breakthrough. Okay, white's doing similar things on the queen side. Mm. I think c5 could be coming. I can't really play c my c5 myself because d6 hangs. Yeah, bishop's actually decent here. Hmm. What to do? I 
feel like this is the most flexible move. Like I, I wasn't sure what my other pieces want to do, but I know my knight should be here. And maybe g4 will come eventually. Put the rook in. Oh, I'm allowing. Oh, this is just a bad move. Oh, this is really bad. Please don't do it. Don't do it. I was anticipating takes takes and I thought I'm being clever. Ah, white's doing it. Mm. Bishop is now a prisoner in its own home. Maybe it's just quarantining. It's going to social distance for a couple weeks and then someday it will come alive. Hmm. This is really not pleasant. I just have to go all out for like some attack. A G4. How do I even make this work? G4, H4. Um, so much regret. Let's play h4 first. So I, I want to play g4 and not allow white to close the file. If takes, I probably have to take this way. Or uh, take this way. At this point, I don't really care about my bishop, though. I just care about mating. Interesting. So g4 takes rook g7. This is really not comfortable. Yeah, let's go for this. I can't believe I allowed this. That's so bad. I gotta watch my time too. Also have to watch out for bishop h5 sneaky ideas. So maybe rook g7 at the right moment. And the thing is, this bishop isn't really lively either. Like, it's just restricted by my pawns. So, I can argue that, okay, I'm down a bishop, but white is also kind of down a bishop. But obviously, this bishop's more useful. Hmm. And queen a4 is coming. This is not what I wanted. I, I kind of have to defend the bishop, because otherwise white's just crashing through. No. How bad is this? This is actually really bad. Or is it? Okay. I have no idea what to do here. Play this move. Okay, some counterplay. Let's 
So I'm basically down the whole rook, and I have 10 seconds left, and I'm probably getting mated. But apart from that, everything's okay. Any tricks? So I'm hoping for this, 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 and then I can win a rook back. And then this, and then this. <laughs> Please, just try and mate me on h8. It's crazy, I don't think white has force mate here. Oh, that's probably annoying. When in down g5. No. Ah, good game though. I got squeezed positionally. Good game, well played. Oh, thanks so much for the kind words, Alex Pierce. That was our first game. I feel like we've played before. Oh yeah, I'm a pirate for Halloween, by the way. I forgot I changed that. It was an interesting position until my bishop got stuck. It's kind of annoying, though, because uh, the combination of the this tension and this diagonal... Uh, things are kind of crumbling. Maybe I should have... I should have preserved bishop c8. So maybe this is a better move. And then if c6, it's not so bad. Because then later my bishop can reactivate. Uh, and if takes, takes, there's queen c7. But I have rook d7 here. Okay. Yeah, I have to take a, away at least one lesson from this game. Oh, I'm still worse here, though. Oh, I'm just worse the whole time? What? Oh, I made the wrong decision. I guess I misevaluated the pressure. And I don't have any attacks on the... Or any, like, strong immediate attack on the king's side. So if I take with bishop... Yeah, the bishop's happier here compared to here. No costume today. Uh, well, not yet, but kind of. My costume is in my profile picture, right? Where was it? Here it is. This is my costume. Can I, like, put this over myself? I'm just wondering if I can somehow use a green screen. There's this like new trend on Twitch where people have like these virtual avatars and it's not their actual faces talking, but when they talk, it's like the avatar talking and it's kind of interesting. Maybe I would have done that if I had more expertise. Yeah, a VTuber. Someday, maybe I'll do that. Or maybe I'll start a channel. And I'll just have an avatar. I'll, I'll change my voice and no one will know it's me. And then I'll just try and grow from scratch. Could be interesting. 